Hi everyone, I'm Callie. Welcome back in for another episode of Mass Effect 2. So last episode, we were thrust into this crazy journey that we're about to just completely embark upon right off the bat. Normally I'm used to ending our videos talking to with our fish and like feeding the fish and having a nice discussion in our room or our our captain's quarters at the end of the day. Last episode, we finished up, we found Jack, and we also finished up the Warlord dossier. And I'm not 100% sure how we're feeling about opening up the Warlord's experimental soldier, but a lot of you guys left some pretty amazing comments that I actually really brought into consideration on how the warlord's experiment should not have to pay for its father's sins and i thought that was like such a great comment and such a great way to look at it that i have kind of started to like think that way myself and someone who has grown up with very toxic parents that i do not believe any of their values or want to be anything like them uh i can i feel that i feel that a lot actually so I think that whenever we do get back on board, we will probably open up the soldier and see what happens. I'm a little bit nervous. It's kind of like playing with Pandora's box a bit. I don't know. I don't think that the experiment should have to pay for its father's sins. And a thousand upon thousands of other Krogans have died because of this one experiment. So we can't just let another life be a paperweight. He should have a chance to become one of his own and not be stuck in the same path as his brothers and sisters. So last time before we ended also, Kelly was like, hey, uh, the elusive man wants to have a conversation with you. Midway between that and going to feed our fish, I was like, we might as well, we're on the same floor. Let's just go to the conference room. I thought he was gonna talk to us about our missions that we had just finished up or something. He was immediately like, hey, I found Ashley. She's way off the beaten path where she shouldn't be and the collectors are coming for her. We have this unique standpoint where we're put into a situation with Ashley immune to the swarms that are making people turn into stone of some sort they're kind of just like frozen we watched ashley just completely freeze and not be able to move any further because of these mosquito things of course dr solis found a way to keep us immune from them so the swarms do not affect us they don't detect us so we're hopping right in there right off the bat here we go we're gonna meet some collectors slash probably murder them and try to save ashley from this crazy thing that's happening maybe get some more insight maybe ashley will be able to join our team today i don't know but I am very excited to hop in with some action right off the bat and see where today takes us. So without further ado, let's go. Oh, I like that Star Wars music. Dun, 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 dun. It's getting juicy. All right, so here are the swarms. Um. Hopefully I've warmed up enough playing. Uh, I actually recorded some of The Witcher this morning, so hopefully the combat in there got me ready for whatever the heck we're about to get into here, because it looks bad. Looks looks real bad. Um, I do kind of want to like swap some stuff here real quick. So I haven't used this bar. I've never used it, <laughs> not even in my ME1 playthrough. So I think it's time to graduate and start utilizing some of this bar. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna like put some stuff up in here that I think would run well for me. All right, we'll kind of mess around with that a little bit and see how it goes. If I don't like something, I'll just switch it up. This looks wild. <laughs> this is actually pretty intense right off the bat. I saw something over there. It looks like an explosion device. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What the heck are those things? Um, all right. It's going to take me a little bit to get used to, like, not doing what I've been doing before, so... <laughs> these things are nuts. So these are the collectors. Here's another one over there. Gotta use that on there. 
He has a shield. There's another one over there. About that one. I'm liking using the bar so far. It's taking me, it's a little bit weird, but I like it a lot. I think it's gonna be much more quality of life improvement for me over here as a combat, like during combat. I'm excited that I, I don't know why I never used it before. Nothing else over here. Data pad? Okay. Oops. Oh, I need more? Dang. Okay. Okay, nice. Got it. 6,000 creds. That's a nice boost. I think the most I've seen so far is like 3k. Whoa, look at those. Good thing Dr. Morden is a genius. Collector ship disrupting communications. We're on our own now. It's not great. How the heck are we supposed to fight these things? Like, what? what is that? Oh, it's one of those pods. They're picking up the people. I saw him for a split second. I don't know where he went. Oh, I saw him. down. Is that the only one? Looks like it. There's more. Heavy fire imminent. I got it. Oh, I missed. What was that noise? It was like a moaning. Oh, they're... Okay, they look much creepier in this one than they do in Mass Effect 1. <laughs> oh my god. I hate zombies. I hate this. I absolutely hate this. Sorry, I kind of like took your spot there. Cannot use powers during cooldown. Okay. Those things look like the husks the Geth used on Eden Prime. They do. The Geth got that technology from Sovereign. Elusive Man was right. Collectors working with Reapers. It's not good. And they definitely improved their zombieism. Did you see those guys? They're not running around in circles like they used to. <laughs> they're actually coming after us and they, ha they have like hunchbacks. In MB1, they were just kind of like... They weren't very like intimidating at all. Now I'm actually a little bit freaked out. Nothing else in here. Okay. Heard something. Not really sure where we're supposed to be going. I guess I can't get over there, huh? And we came from over here. All right, so let's keep going this way. Dead collector. I'll take it. Ooh, heavy skin weave, okay. Hmm, husks have human characteristics. Possibly repurposed colonists. Mm. No. On Eden Prime, victims were turned into husks by impaling them on spikes. We haven't seen any. The collectors must have brought the husks. They're taking the colonists alive for something else. Interesting. Living victims? It's grim. Collectors must be experimenting on the colonists. What are they up to? 
Speculation will get us nowhere. It could be anything. Find out for sure when you stop them. These husks definitely look different. These aren't the same creatures I fought on Eden Prime. They're more advanced. Yeah. Evolved. They can still be killed. Okay, let's go save them. The collectors aren't getting away with more victims. Let's move out. Yes, ma'am. Just oh, like freedom's look. progress. The entire colony gone. No signs of resistance. <laughs> that happened quickly. Oh, There's nowhere to really like take cover. Just the thing. Got no shot. This will put them down. One last. He's still alive. There we go. It's definitely more fun using the numbers. A little bit more tricky for me right now, but hopefully I get used to it fairly quickly. This was probably like the most intense area to learn how to start using the number pads, but hopefully you guys can bear with me. Sorry, it'll get better soon. It'll get more flow, more flowy. Anything else in here that I missed? No. Oh, I can't bolt that. Okay. I'm gonna go grab some ammo from over here. I'm not low, I just don't wanna be. Plus, there's also this area to check here, too. Who's that? They're people that are like frozen. My mind can't even begin to fathom what they could potentially be doing with these people. And remember last time, like before I left you guys on a cliffhanger, um, that one collector was saying like, let's give them, let's collect them for their ascension. I wonder what they're turning them into. They could be turning them into collectors, maybe. What's that? Mm, some other guy. Nothing in here. Okay. Explosive containers. Okay. Why are there so many explosives here? I wonder what they were doing. Victim appears conscious, fully aware, trapped in stasis. Fascinating. They've been like this a long time. Jeez. So what are the collectors hiding because they know that we're here? Collector particle beam acquired. The following squad members are now able to use now able to use this weapon. Shepard. Okay. Collector particle beam. Oh, there's a codex for it. All right, let's sit over by these poor people and read this codex. <laughs> I feel bad doing the this, but oh, here it is. The collector's particle oh, look at that thing. is strangely crafted, possessing few moving parts, lacking any obvious means for disassembly, and containing organic parts. The amount of energy required to create a destructive beam is several orders of magnitude more than the energy required to launch a physical projectile at high velocity via a mass effect field. Lacking any clear ammunition or fuel source, the device likely uses heat sinks or compensators to maintain firing during sustained combat. Current Cerberus efforts to understand the technology and replicate it have failed. Mm. 
Mass Effect field gun again. We'll have to give it a try. I really like the heavy collect. weapon that I have, the black hole one. I always forget what it's called, but I've been really enjoying that one. Anything else with a... You scared me. Oh, look at his eyes. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm going to help you. Yeah, but the black hole gun is really cool. Anything that has to do with like mass effect fields is probably pretty cool. Seems bad. I am assuming direct control. What does that mean? Oh, I'm scared. Holy crap. Enjoy. Alright, he's down. There's something else over here? What the heck is that? <clears throat> There's more. One down. Clean hit. Nice. Let's go, Morden. What? <gasps> the forces of the universe. Where'd he go? Firing now. There's another one to my left, right? Yeah, there he is. Out of ammo, of course. Okay, let's run around and get some ammo real quick. I think this guy dropped some over here too. Nope, it was probably just that box. All right, let me see if there's some ammo in here maybe. Power cells, okay. <laughs> there's that building over there and then there's this building over here. I'm just going to search around for some ammo, too. Can we get in that one? That looks like the big one. Let me go see if I can loot this one over here real quick first. Oh, I can't vault that. Okay. Look at these poor people. I wonder if we'll find Ashley. thousand creds this music's putting me on edge <laughs> can't get in here okay so now let's go to that big building Saw her like during the cutscene, she was standing like in the middle of the area, like towards the beginning. I didn't see her though. Hopefully, that doesn't mean that she's like captured already. A weapons locker? Oh boy. Things are going to get juicy. <laughs> Company, get out here now. You're, you're human. What are you doing out here? You leave them right here. They knew you were here. You had to hear them trying to get in. 
Seems like it's hard to hide from the collectors. Yeah. Those things are collectors? You mean, they're real? I thought they were just made up, you know, propaganda to keep us in Alliance space. No, oh, they got Lilith. I, I saw her go down. Sten, too. They, they got damn near everybody. Who are you? Well, I want to know about the attack. I need to know what I'm up against. Tell me everything you remember. We lost our comm signals a few hours ago. I came down to check on the main grid. Then I heard screaming. I looked outside and there were swarms of bugs. Everyone they touched just froze. I, I sealed the doors. Damn it, it's the Alliance's fault. They stationed that Chief Williams here and built those defense towers. It made us a target. So he thinks that Chief Williams made them a target. Slash the Alliance. Tell me more about this Alliance rep. Chief Williams? Heard she was some kind of hero or something. Didn't mean nothing to me, though. Would rather she just stayed back in council space. So why was she here? Any idea what she was doing on Horizon? Supposed to be helping us get the defense towers up and running. I got the feeling she was here for something else. Spying on us, maybe. Why would she be spying? Tell me about the colony defense towers. A gift from the Alliance. High-powered Guardian lasers. Supposed to keep hostile ships from landing near the colony. Had to build a massive underground generator just to give it enough juice. Only we couldn't get the targeting systems online. So the Alliance gave us a giant gun that couldn't shoot straight. Stupid sons of bitches. That's interesting. Why do you think this is the Alliance's fault? We're just a small colony. Nobody bothered us before we started building those damn defense towers and drew attention to ourselves. I left Council Space to get away from the Alliance. Nothing good ever comes from getting mixed up with them. Mm. I want to say you can't count on them. You can't count on them. The Alliance doesn't care about the Terminus colonies. Yeah. Damn straight. That's what I tried to tell everybody. The Alliance didn't send someone out here because they want to help us. They were after something. Always are. Yeah, there had to been another motive. Interesting. So they're putting these, uh, what are they called? Guardian defense towers up? And they weren't even able to shoot down the collector ship that came? I mean, I guess the collector ship could be, like, under radar. Like, it wouldn't have picked up on it, maybe? Because it's such a foreign ship. Why would Ashley be here to oversee it? If you have defenses, we can use them against the collector ship. Yeah. You'd need to calibrate the targeting system first. It's never worked right. We can figure it out. Just tell us where to find it. Head for the main transmitter on the other side of the colony. Pretty hard to miss. The targeting controls are at the base. We might need your help. You're a mechanic, right? You know this colony and the equipment. You better come with us. Not a chance in hell. <laughs> Not a chance in hell. Fine. You'd probably just get in the way. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I'll let you out, but I'm locking the door behind you. I'm not okay. taking any chances. Good luck. I think you're gonna need it. <laughs> yeah, we probably could use your help, buddy. All right, so we got some, ooh, platinum, nice. It can now afford the shotgun damage research project. I'm hesitant on... Oh, so since we picked up the collector particle beam, it automatically equips it. Um, we can give it a try. Yeah, we can we can give it a try, and just see kind of like how it goes. Okay. I was gonna switch to it anyways. I was just about to say I'm nervous to switch to it going into like a new fight, but I think it'll be fine. All right, so we gotta make our way to the main hub. Are these like little tractors? What are these things? They look Headed like for combat. little tiny tractors. There's some, oops, I didn't mean to press that. Oh. <sighs> Jeez. All right. Where's 
the big chonkers. He's up in there. All right, let's use this thing and see what happens. Oh, it's like a... It's like a particle beam. <laughs> Interesting. Oh my god. They got particle beams too. Where's the big chonkers going? He's up in there with Morden. I need to go help Morden. Okay, there we go. I don't know what the heck that blobby thing over there is, but he's scary. What is that? <gasps> Look at its head. Holy crap. What is that? A sky on? Ew. I don't like the noises that these things make. It freaks me out. Look at its butt. Is that its butt? Oh, it's so blobby. Right. I'm gonna go through this little area first. The Reaper's definitely got an upgrade or the Geth. more heavy ammo i don't really um the particle beam's okay it requires me to kind of like be out of my cover for a, a while <laughs> which i don't like about it um so does the black hole gun though like when it's charging up about to do that big burst it does um require me to be out of cover but then it like absolutely annihilates most of your um most of your people around you <laughs> So then you can just kind of focus on the big guys. So I think I'm still, um, I still really like the black hole gun more. This looks interesting. Biotic damage. Okay. Nothing over there. I expected to run across more paralyzed colonists in this area. Colonists loaded onto ship. Collectors nearly finished here. Need to hurry. Okay. I'm nervous that they already picked up Ashley. Do these two connect to one another? Yeah. Okay. Computer. Okay. Made a full sweep. I think we're ready to go into these doors now. Oh. This looks like a huge area. We're definitely gonna have a big fight in here, probably. All right, let me run to like this little, I'm just trying to look for some cover and here not in the middle of the area. <laughs> Where are they coming from? They're shooting. Okay, that one's down. Are there like bombs? There's a bomb over there. Oh, there's another big blobby. <gasps> there's a couple of them over there. Is that Miranda? Why is Miranda down? This is getting messy really fast. They need to get back over here or something. All right, I think I'm going to switch to this one for a little bit and try to like melt these guys down. Working pretty well to get some like crowd control going. <laughs> Oh 
my god. <laughs> Miranda's body and I'm like reaching out it's like that painting where I like <laughs> oh what a terrible failure okay this one's hard all right we're about to get racked up in here look at us me and Miranda <laughs> where is Morden I think I should come up here and just immediately have them like come up here with me and we can try to like hold ground from here I don't know where it's gonna start me off at, but okay. So same place. Yeah, I think I should. I think we should all kind of like with you, with you, come over here and just try to do the best that we can. And right off the bat, just start with this gun and do some crowd control. <laughs> um, cause it got juicy so fast. Enjoy. These guys are okay, but it's the swarms that did it. Okay. Are they in there? Yeah, that gun is like serious. Whatever these guys are doing. Oops. Okay. We're okay. We just need a second. Firing now. Wait, I was standing down there. Kill that one. Okay, good job. <gasps> Think I'm out of ammo on this gun? Yep, I am. All right, that one is down. Let's try to do some like extras on this guy. Forget which, doesn't matter. Oh no, I had him right in the headshot area. Okay, one more little. All right, let's go. Is everyone okay? Everyone's alive. Okay. Investigate tower. Use the transmitter. Okay. Ooh, that was spicy. Okay, got some more ammo. Nothing behind there? No. Okay, there's a computer up here to hack. I think these computer hack things are probably my least favorite to do. Like they're okay, but I just I get the worst Normandy, anxiety. Do you copy? Joker here. Signal sweet, Commander, but we got you. We need help with the towers. Let's kick some collector ass. <laughs> we need help with the towers. Edie, can you get the colony's defense towers online? Errors in the calibration software are easily rectified, but it will take time to bring the towers to full power. I recommend a defensive posture. I will not be able to mask the increased generator output. Collectors will respond with force to stop it. Anything else? Got any other helpful tips? Just one. Enemy reinforcements are closing in. I suggest you ready weapons. Again? Where are they? Here we go. You will not stop me. You cannot resist. <laughs> Burn nicely. I think one's right by me. This hurts you. I could have sworn I heard one right by me. Other Reaper. He's still alive? He was hanging on, aren't you, buddy? Bypassing fail safes and attempting emergency power. Please hold a defense tower. Holy crap. Okay. Assuming 
All right. I need ammo. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, I gotta run, gotta run. I know you feel this. Feel what? I know you feel this. What is he talking about? If I must tell you, yeah. Shepard, I will. So it's definitely the personal. Of the universe meant to be. Forces of the universe are meant to be. What is he talking about? I need to pick up more ammo for this gun. Oh, I have a full ammo now. Okay. I miss what Morden was saying. Are they coming out again? Yeah, they're over here this time. Oh, there's another one over there. Reinforcement. Guess we got their attention. Now let's finish you off. Oh my god. Stop. I hate the screaming. Neutralized. I hate it so much. Assuming direct control. We are your genetic destiny. Genetic destiny. I feel like he's saying a lot of foreshadowing stuff right now. And I'm creeped out by literally all of it. Are they behind me? Where's that one guy? They're behind me. <laughs> Where are they? All right, I think they, I think Morden got the other two that were like running around. There's got to be more. Yeah, for sure, there's gonna be more. I want to get back in my spot over here. Oh, man. I think he was foreshadowing a lot of weird stuff. It's my genetic destiny. <gasps> Ew. What the heck is that? Ew, we need <gasps> that system online. A new one. Whatever that is, don't get too close. Holy crap. No, get behind. I have control. again oh god please tell me i don't have to do it all over again it's where is it okay it starts us off here okay Woo. very lucky just the thing to help all right so let's use this one i need to stay in a better position this time uh, let me switch back to this gun for a bit target Oh, 
Miranda's down. Okay, she's back. It was ineffective. Okay. Man, its barrier is insane. Okay. I'm gonna go run over here and see if we can find some ammo maybe or something. Are there any like bombs and stuff set up around here? Can I like make it go to one of the bombs? I don't see anything. Attack didn't work. Okay, so her like thing, her ability isn't working at all on it. to die. Ashley's not on there. No! Don't let him get away! It's too late. There's nothing we can do. They're gone. I'm sorry. Half the colony's in there. They took Egan and Sam and, and Lilith. Do something! Maybe you should have came with me. I didn't <laughs> want it to end this way. I did what I could. Nobody could have done more, Shepard. Shepard? Wait. I know that name. Sure, I remember you. You're some type of big alliance hero. Commander Shepard. It's Ashley! Captain of the Normandy. The first human specter. Savior of the Citadel. Oh, he just got a whole body You're chills. You're in the presence of a god, Delan. Back from the dead. Oh, the oh, original the music. All the people we lost and you get left behind. Figures. Screw this. I'm done with you alliance types. Okay, peace out. Don't let me... Don't ruin this moment, mechanic. I thought you were dead, Commander. A handshake? You can't even give me a hug? Are you serious? I saved you over Kaden. We deserve a hug. It's good to see you again. It's been too long, Ash. How have you been? It's That's Ashley. It. You show up after two years and act like nothing's happened? I would have followed you anywhere, Commander. I thought you were gone. I... You were more than our Commander. Why didn't you try to contact me? Why didn't you let me know you were alive? I wasn't even conscious. Yeah, I, I wasn't... Not my choice. I spent the last two years in some kind of coma while Cerberus rebuilt me. You're with Cerberus now? I can't believe the reports were right. Reports? So much for security. Alliance Intel said Cerberus could be behind our missing colonies. We got a tip that this one could be the next to get hit. I went to Anderson, but he wouldn't talk. But there were rumors that you weren't dead. Worse, that you were working for the enemy. Cerberus isn't the reason. That's why you're on Horizon. So she's on Horizon because she knew that they were going to come here? Is that what she's saying? I went to Anderson, he wouldn't talk. There were rumors that you weren't dead. Yeah, Cerberus, it's like touchy saying that Cerberus isn't the enemy, but um, I wonder if we'll get to ask her more about why she's here. It's funny that the Paragon reaction is Cerberus isn't the enemy. Our colonies are disappearing. The Alliance turned its back on them. Cerberus is the only group willing to do something about it. Bullshit. I know what Cerberus is like. They talk about putting humans first, but at what cost? 
I wanted to believe that you were alive. I just never expected anything like this. You've turned your back on everything we stood for. I'm not a traitor. Uh, yeah, look at the big picture. I'm not a traitor. Ash, you know me. You know I'd only do this for the right reason. You saw it yourself. The Collectors are targeting human colonies, and they're working with the Reapers. I'd like to believe you, Shepard, but I don't trust Cerberus. And it worries me that you do. What did they do to you? What if they're behind it? What if they're the ones working with the Collectors? Typical Alliance attitude. You're so focused on Cerberus that you're blind to the real threat. I don't really want to tell her that she's too emotional, but... Because, like, I do very much understand where she's coming from with Cerberus. And I do 100% stand behind her line of, yes, Cerberus is for humanity, but at what cost? <laughs> because, as we've seen so far, um, usually it's the cost of a lot of other lives. You're letting how you feel about their history get in the way of the facts. Or maybe you feel like you owe Cerberus because they saved you. Maybe it's you. Doesn't matter. I still know where my loyalties lie. I'm an Alliance soldier. It's in my blood. I'm reporting back to the Citadel. I'll let them decide if they believe your story. That chance? Don't go. Join my group. I have a strong feeling she's about to turn us down. I could use someone like you and my crew, Ash. It'll be just like old times. No, it won't. I'm no fan of aliens, but Cerberus has a history of being extremist. I'll never work for a group like that. So long, Commander. Good luck. Joker, send the shuttle to pick us up. I've had enough of this colony. so many like emotions boiling inside of me right now and I'm like trying not to be hard or angry at Ashley but <sighs> what happened to like her saying I will always stick by your side I will always be with you blah 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 and all that stuff and her loyalty was with us yes it has always been with the alliance very much so very strongly because of her family and her past but I thought that we would have gotten a little bit of a different reaction there with her. I totally understand where she's coming from, though. Like, th think about it as if, like, if Shepard didn't pass away on the ship, if we would have survived with Ashley and everybody else, what would we be thinking about Cerberus right now? Would we still be like, oh, yes, they're the ones definitely behind the Reaper activity. They're in charge of all of it. They've been doing this experimental stuff for forever now, blah, blah, blah. Probably. I mean, look at the quest line that we did in ME1 with Cerberus and dealing with them and putting that black font on their name immediately. Like, I get where she's coming from. It just really hurts my heart. And I think to hold back from, like, being upset and tears i'm feeling anger instead because i i'm angry that she won't listen to us or even take anything that we're saying into consideration but i also agree with her i mean we were in a coma for two years and then we wake up and we're immediately with cerberus we didn't really have a choice they brought us back to life She's been here for two years, dealing with all of it behind the scenes, seeing stuff that Cerberus is still doing. Collectors escaped with approximately one third of Horizon's population. At least it wasn't the entire one. Front Corporation will funnel supplies, monetary aid to colony survivals, uh, survivors. Collector leader Harbinger demonstrates a personal interest in Shepard. I noticed that. Unclear whether his ability to possess his minions is cybernetic override indication of hive mind among collectors or even reaper technology at work salvage uh salvage teams capture collector bodies for study 
we got the collector particle beam which actually isn't bad for like the it's also pretty good with crowd control actually um it wasn't terrible it just takes more time compared to the black hole gun so i think i'm probably gonna switch back to black hole but this gun's not bad it's not bad at all Shepard, good work on Horizon. Hopefully the Collectors will think twice before attacking another colony. I didn't save everyone. It's not a victory. We interrupted the Collectors, but they still abducted half the colony. That's better than an entire colony, and more than we've accomplished since the abductions began. The Collectors will be more careful now, but I think we can find another way to lure them in. Another way? Lure them in. I thought that was a weird thing to say, too. I think we can find another way to lure them in. Lure them in. I wondered if you had something to do with that attack. Ash said the Alliance got a tip about me and Cerberus. I released a few carefully disguised rumors that you might be alive and working for Cerberus. I see. What were you trying to prove? I suspected the Collectors were looking for you, or people connected to you. Now I know for certain. It was a risk, but I couldn't just wait for them to take another colony. You understand? Uh... I kinda do, but... Okay. We have to make sure they don't abduct anyone else. I want the Collectors stopped for that very reason. That's why we're doing this, Shepard. I'm devoting all resources to finding a way through the Omega-4 relay. We have to hit them where they live. Your team will need to be strong, as will their resolve. There's no looking back. The same goes for you. Can I assume you put your past relationships behind you? You have no say in my past relationships. None of your damn business. If it affects the mission, better you should leave it behind. Shepard. Once you find a way through the Omega-4 relay to the Collector homeworld, there's no guarantee you'll return. To have any hope of surviving, you and your entire team must be fully committed to this. Let me worry about them. You just find us a way to the Collector homeworld. I just want to be upfront about your odds. You'll need everyone at their best. I've forwarded three more dossiers. Keep building your team while I find a way through the relay. And be careful, Shepard. The Collectors will be watching you. Clearly. That guy was talking some weird stuff when we were fighting him. Jacob? I guess we're really gonna do it. Hit the Omega-4 relay. Take the fight to the Collectors in person. Looking forward to the action. After seeing what those bastards did on Horizon, though, makes you think. What do you mean? Something on your mind? No. Just, there's a good chance we're not coming back, even if we get it done. Gonna go take care of a little unfinished business. I imagine everyone else is too, getting some closure, you know? Man, I am like mind boggled about Ashley right now. I don't, uh, like, even when we ran into Tally, she, Sure, she had this problem with Cerberus as well, but it was more of like a... A personal issue, whereas Ashley is like, no, I will never have anything to do with Cerberus. Bye, talk to the hand. Like, it was just, it was such a, like, abrupt and like, heart-wrenching reaction. She gave us a handshake. She didn't even give us a hug. I don't know. I was expecting that to go very differently. I do understand where she's coming from, but I'm just also like very upset at how she reacted to me. Seeing me again as if it's my fault that I haven't seen her for the past two years. I was literally in a coma. <sighs> All right, let's see if we have any upgrades to do real quick and then I need to go check on my fish because they, I don't know if they're dead. <laughs> Shepard, 
How can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Uh, some other time. About to test new bioweapon. Not on us, of course. Didn't think I had to specify, but Joker got nervous. Anything else? I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Okay. All right, let me go. First things first, I'm gonna go check on my fish after I talk to Kelly real quick. I saw the reports on Horizon, Commander. What you did was amazing. The report mentioned that Ashley Williams was there. How did that go? <laughs> I miss her. It went well. It didn't go well with her at all. We've been through a lot. I wish we could have had more time together. I understand. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Operative Lawson would like to see you at her station on the crew deck. Operative Taylor would like to see you over in the armory. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. All right, seems like we've got a lot to do around the ship real quick. <sighs> the anger is starting to wear off about Ashley and now I'm just sad. Saying I miss her to Kelly was hard. Hey, Commander. It's uh, pretty crazy the people you can run into out here, huh? I mean, it was probably a setup or something, but it was still good to see Ash, Operations Chief Williams, wasn't it? Didn't go well. Another reminder of how I lost more than time. I don't need this garbage. Right. Understood, Commander. I assume everything's going well up here? Shh. Joker? I can tell when it's listening. I am always listening, Mr. Moreau. I know. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Him and Edie, I swear. They are like a bickering married couple. Who said that? I think it was... Ahsoka. Ahsoka? No, that's a Star Wars show. I can never remember her name. I think it's Ahsoka. Maybe not. Incoming message from Admiral Stephen Hack at Alliance HQ. Commander Shepard. I need to discuss a sensitive matter with you privately. I'll take this in my quarters. Okay. Hopefully our fish aren't dead. <laughs> Whoa. Call me. Just this morning, I received word that the Batarians arrested her. They're holding her in a secret prison outpost on terrorism charges. I need you to infiltrate the prison and get her out of there. As a favor to me, I'm asking you to go in alone. Hmm. Terrorism charges. What's Dr. Kenson actually doing out there? She's a deep cover operative, Shepard. We talk only when we have to. I'd heard she was investigating a rumor of a Reaper artifact in the system. Her last report said she'd found it. What else can you tell me about the operative? Amanda's a top scientist and Alliance agent working in Batarian space. It's a deadly assignment, and she's one of the few up to the challenge. She and I go back pretty far, Commander. I won't let her run away in a Batarian torture camp. I thought the Alliance denies the Reaper threat. That must be some proof she found. Kenson's team found an artifact out in Batarian space. She believes it's a Reaper device, proof that the Reapers are indeed planning to invade. I've known her a long time. If she says she has proof, it's worth checking out. Hmm. The Batarians won't take kindly to the Alliance breaking into a secret prison. This is not an Alliance operation. It's one person going in alone to save a friend. If it were an official mission, of course the Batarians would be upset. You keep this quiet, Shepard, and there's nothing to worry about. Okay, so solo. I have a hell of a squad with me. I'm sure they'd help out. Kenson is my friend. If the Batarians see a squad of armed soldiers, they'll kill her. This is serious, Commander. Go in with discretion. We 
but don't go at all. Okay. I'll make this a priority. The prison is hidden underground at a Batarian outpost in Aratan. I'll upload the coordinates now. Once she's secure, confirm her discovery. We'll debrief you when you're back. Got it. Hack it out. <laughs> Hack it out. <gasps> My fish are still alive. Thank goodness. Okay, there's three in there. I thought there was only two for a second. Okay, they're still alive. Is there anything else? Whoa, we got a lot of mail. Title, untitled, from error, invalid. Hey, Shepard, heard I have you to thank for getting out of purgatory. Sent a ship to round me up, but they didn't weapons check good enough. I'm gonna carve your name instead of mine into my next victim as thanks. Got anyone you need dead? Ha uh, ha, question mark. You did take a shot at me though on my way out, so I have to kill you. You know how it goes? Dad taught me that you let anyone hurt you when they get ideas so that I make sure you send a message. Not like I'm sending now though. See you around. The people who live here are coming back and it's showtime. Look around for your name. I'll make sure you find it before I find you. Billy dot dot dot. Ew, what an ominous, gross message. I didn't free him. It was an accident and now he's after me because I took a shot at him and he's going to murder. Oh my God. I hate everything about that message. I am starting to think that this is more of like a horror game. I feel like every time that I <laughs> get involved in something in here, which is perfect for like the month that we're playing it in, but like, holy crap, there's some like very scary undertones to this game. From Robin Reeve, Commander, the Alliance soldier here gave me this contact information. I hope it reaches you. You said you were trying to stop those collectors. They took my son and my brother. Have you found them? Do you know where they are? I know you're looking, but so many people are just gone. Every family lost someone. The children are the worst. Empty desks at the school, winter clothes that never got worn. The Alliance isn't doing anything. The council isn't doing anything. If you can find our people, I'm begging you to do something. Tell me something I can do. Tell me anything. Robin Reeve. I hope that I can help them. That's really sad that they're taking kids too. Cerberus information processing. Shadow broker intel. We're aware that your old friend Liara Tassoni has been hunting for the shadow broker for several years. She wouldn't mind helping her. We wouldn't mind helping her in that hunt, given the broker's past work for the collectors. We recently uncovered some information that might give Liara a lead on where to find the shadow broker's base of operations. But unfortunately, she doesn't have much faith in Cerberus Intel. If you'd visit Ilium and pass it on to her as a gesture of goodwill, we'd appreciate it. What, Intel on the Shadow Broker? Okay. It would be cool to see Liara again. Like, really good. All right, I don't think we have any like upgrades or anything like that. I'm still pretty shook about everything that happens with Ashley. I think Jacob wants to talk to us, so we should go probably try to find him. Um, And Miranda too. I think she said Miranda wants to talk to us. Or was that just the general Hackett that we just talked to? It might've been Hackett. I thought she said Lawson. Shepard, I find myself in the unpleasant position of asking for your help. I don't like discussing personal matters, but this is important. Miranda, you're one of my crew. Tell me what's on your mind. You remember what I told you about father building a dynasty? There was another reason I went to Cerberus for protection. I have a sister, a twin, and he's still hunting her. Cerberus has kept her safe, until now, she's living a normal life on Ilium, safe and hidden from my father. Only not anymore. So you think your father's tracked her down? Precisely, Commander. My sources indicate he knows that she's on Ilium, 
I've tried to keep her hidden without impacting her life, but I'm out of options. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. What do you know about your sister? She's my genetic twin. We're identical, but she deserves a normal life and she's going to get it no matter what. So she hasn't been altered at all, like Miranda. Did your sister's family know about this? Are they okay with being relocated? They know nothing. They're completely uninvolved. Normal. I told Cerberus and they're coming up with a positive reason to move the family. Okay. What do you need me to do? My father is extremely persistent. I'd like to go to Ilium when Cerberus is moving the family to make sure none of his agents get too close. My contact's name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge near the Nos Astra docking bay. Okay, so we have a side quest for Miranda. Interesting. So I think we should definitely probably do that. I wonder if it's tracked as a normal quest or it's a main one, a main mission. The Prodigal. Interesting name. Travel to Ilium in the Tesla, Tesla system located in the Crescent Nebula and speak with Miranda's contact. I really want to do that one. All right. So we have a lot of missions that are just like, <gasps> Tally. Wait, we get to go recruit Tally? We have three new dossiers too. And one of them's Tally. The Quarian engineer earned her adult name after helping Shepard defeat Saren two years ago. So that's her full name now. Tally Zora Vas Nima. Tally is currently on a classified assignment for the Migrant Fleet Admiralty Board on Haystrom, deep in Geth-controlled space. <gasps> we can get Tally. Interesting. Lair of the Shadow Broker, that's the one to help with Liara. It would be really cool to see Liara again. Okay. Um, pretty sure we're, yeah, we get to speak with Liara on this one. Wow, there's a lot of really cool quests that just kicked off. I know that Arrival is one of the DLCs that you told me, that chat has told me not to do. So I will not be doing Arrival for a while. Don't worry, I won't be an accident. <laughs> it won't be like an accidental, oops. Um, as far as Project Firewalker goes, I don't know if it's extremely necessary if we do this one. Um, let me know in the comments below if you think that we should do this one, but as far as I know, it's how to drive the hover quad or hovercraft vehicle that we've already been driving around. So should I skip it or should I do it? Um, let me know in the comments and in the next video, we could probably start with that one, but I do want to do one of these ones that we have not done yet. I... I'm interested in literally every single one of these. <laughs> um, I would like to do Dr. O'Kear's legacy as well though today. So I think we should activate the Krogan because as I said in the very beginning of this video, I don't think, I agree with some of the comments. I don't think that the Krogan super soldier should pay for his father's sins and be kept in a tank for the rest of his life. So I'm going to open it. I'm going to open it. Um, continue assembling a team with new dossiers from the elusive man. Okay, so we're not ready for that one yet. We need to do some more dossiers. Uh, Kasumi has a side quest for the Beckenstein um, with an arms dealer. We could do that one today. Or Zaid's. There's also one for Jacob. Talk to Jacob in the armory. That's right, he wanted to talk to us. So let's go, let's do the Dr. O'Kear's legacy and go talk to Jacob because he wants to talk to us about something. We also have a codex for something. Oh, there's a lot of codexes. Is it just about like collectors? Yeah, it was probably this collector's one. Cerberus xenobiologists believe until recently that the collectors were coordinated by a biotically active caste, similar to other insectoid alien species. 
New evidence suggests the collectors have a singular commander, a so-called collector general, that has never been seen on the battlefield. Instead, it selects its minions as remote platforms for its consciousness in a process that has been linked to a biological hack or cybernetic version of demonic possession. It looks very demonic. The collector general can send a sick secure signal to any one of its minions smoothly taking over control of its motor functions which is scary similar to the rachni <laughs> it's exactly what the rachni did when we were talking to it um after we did everything with liara's mom and the data pad and all that stuff it's very similar it kind of creeps me out i'm feeling like i made a bad decision in letting the rachni go I don't know. I just feel like it's very, very similar to like the hive mind mentality and um, yeah. Postmortem analysis reveals that this command signal relies on cybernetic implants directly installed in the collector cerebellums. But how the technology functions is presently unknown. Coordinating sensory input and motor functions simultaneously with remote amplifying biotic abilities is beyond the grasp of current human science. Why such an advanced species would be interested in human minds is humans is puzzling. More disturbing still, victims of the collectors say that the general has spoken to them and referred to itself by a human name, Harbinger. That is very creepy. <laughs> very creepy. Okay, so the scions, those were those big blobby things with the blobby butts. Though the exact fate of species captured by the collectors is unclear, the humanoid appearance of the scions gives ghastly clues. The scions' frame and skull are similar to those of the human or sorry, but the bone structure is overlaid with a metallic resin. Posthumous examination of their bodies reveals a skin tone resembling that of reaper husks, but their transformation process seems more extensive. Like husks, they are cybernetically modified on a nano scale so that they can operate even in hard vacuum. Hoses rather than veins and muscle tissues join major portions of the body together. One arm is replaced with a construct that fits a large rifle, turning the creature into a humanoid weapons platform, and a fleshy sack is supported by the creature's back and head. These sacks contain brain matter and spinal tissue, too much to have come from just one victim. The syndicate scions are an amalgam of several individuals, with one primary victim providing the frame and several secondaries providing the flesh for a decentralized semi-mechanical nervous system. This decentralization makes them highly resistant to shotgun wounds. Even a headshot is not a certain kill, as we saw. I was shooting that one in the head multiple times and it was not falling. The Scions' weapons, however, indicate the Scions retain some living tissue, or at least sustain some of the same electromechanical reactions as those of human biotic. The weapon creates a powerful warp effect, which is consistent with the EZO nodules visible in the Scions' expansive nervous system. Given the rarity of human biotics, it seems likely that these dust form EZO nodules are dis uh, dep deposited during their transformation rather than requiring a biotic victim in the first place. The Scions were the blobbies with the butts, right? Or was the Scion the one that was, like, we were fighting in the end that I, like, died to, that had, like, all of the heads in it and was, like, doing that uh, mass effect beam? Now I'm forgetting. I feel like the Scion was the one that was, like, blobby. Planet Arato. The Reaper's Secrets. Nothing is impossible, says the hegemony propaganda poster that depicts a muscular Batarian miner under a arrow to sky. His rebreather held away from his face as if he's just taken it off. The image sums up millions of man hours of labor on the Batarian planet and represents or misrepresents much of its history. Two decades ago, Arato was several planets in the Scillian Verge, was claimed by both human and Batarian governments. But the Alliance backed out after learning about the atmosphere's dangerously low pressure and oxygen levels. Instead, they concentrated their colonial efforts on planets that could support human life without the aid of domed habitats and rebreathers. Human governments saw it as a wise move, Batarians saw it as cowardly. The Batarians rose to the colonization challenge, shipping in large numbers of laborers. They took the high financial costs and casualties due to accidents or logistical snafus in stride. 
Large-scale dumping of cyanobacteria has increased the oxygen in the atmosphere by a fraction of 1%. A modest increase of the hegemony trumpets as a sign of their eventual victory. 1%? Short-term profits on Arito are largely made in the mineral sec uh, sector, though the mining, through mining the extremely metal-rich planetary crust. The dark side to the mining does not appear on the propaganda poster. The majority of laborers are indentured servants or slaves. Arito is rumored to have military bases on its surface and throughout the solar system, though details are heavily restricted by the Hegemony's Ministry of Information Control. Human merchant ships rarely come to the planet, outcompeted by local companies that benefit from heavy economic protections. The average Arito citizen only sees human on the views, on the news, usually featured in stories of trials and executions of accused spies. Jeez, sounds like a terrible place. So I'm guessing that that place the arito that we just re read about was part of the arrival and i think that's the one i'm supposed to be staying away from in the hovering tanks resembling a cross between an octopus and a giant crab praetorians are well armored killing machines of mysterious origin mm, that's what that was employ redundant Ew. systems from the multiple humans encased within them <sighs> armed with eye-mounted particle beams and capable of attacks at close range they teleport to evade attack while regenerating their shields within hours after death the organic components of praetorian corpses disintegrate into a denatured pus while their mechanisms turn to ash one specimen autopsied within minutes of death reveals a clue nano machines may disintegrate the praetorian's organic and mechanical components before self-destructing if correct, this self-rendering hypothesis could account for three documented cases of dead Praetorians apparently releasing or becoming clouds of neurotoxic gases, causing suffocating paralysis and nearly instant death. In one remote facility, 17 soldiers died from gas inhalation while assessing the Praetorian. Any personnel in the vicinity of dead Praetorians are urged to protect themselves with breathing apparatus. Okay. It was really disgusting. <laughs> when I when I took a sip of my chai tea, the hearing him say like denatured pus, I was just like, oh. wow, these guys are. Yeah, it was kind of crazy fighting that Praetorian. Not gonna lie, it was it was actually pretty challenging. More challenging than fighting AI David, for sure. Freedom's progress. A typical terminus colony possessing minimal tourist value. Horizon promises substantial economic opportunity, especially in providing new products for humans and supplying the Turian hierarchy. Surveyed 18 years ago, Horizon received pilot habitation four years later. The colony proper is now eight years old. Blessed with verdant forests and abundant fresh water, Horizon maintains a colonial culture that thrives as a refuge from the increasing restrictions of citadel-governed society. Horizon has attracted numerous dissidents, marginal people, and fringe dwellers from across Alliance space. Well, at least we saved two thirds of them. Poor people. I forgot to read that part of the codex, I guess, yesterday before I ended. All right. So onward, we're gonna do, we're not gonna do any dossiers today. But we are going to see what Jacob wants and also the rest of Dr. Oak here's. I got sidetracked by the codex. Uh, we had some catching up to do, though. So it's good that we were able to do that. So I wonder if Garrus has anything to say about us running into Did Ashley. Another colony went missing. Ferris Fields. Ferris Fields? Didn't Hadley have a brother stationed there? Yeah, it's taking a free part. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got any upgrade ideas for the Normandy's weapon systems? My current upgrades are working pretty well. That's about the best I can do. Okay. Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Yes. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Oh, it's Edie. 
I just want someone to just tell me and hold my hand and give me a hug and tell me that Ashley is overreacting and that she doesn't understand and that she's a traitor now. That's all I want. <laughs> is that too much to ask? All right. So we said we were going to put them um, in the cargo hold. So I guess we got to go down for that. But I think first, eh, no, let's go down. Let's go down to the cargo hold. Yeah, cargo hold is where we're keeping the Dr. Okier's specimen. Port cargo, starboard cargo. I don't remember which one they're in. Oh, that's him. Okay. Kazimi. Okay. <gasps> there he is. This is kind of creepy. The subject is stable, Shepard. Integration with onboard systems was seamless. Is he aware? Can he see anything in there? Does he know where he is? Unlikely. Current neural patterns indicate minimal cognition. Barring shipwide power loss, the nutrients in the tank could sustain him for over a year. He looks very awake in there. Any idea how dangerous this guy is? He is a Krogan, Shepard. If you were asking whether he is actively hostile, I don't have the necessary data to answer. Okir's technology could impart data, not methods of thinking. The subject may know of his views, but would not necessarily share them. What can you tell me about this guy? Anything unusual? The subject is an exceptional example of the Krogan species, with fully formed primary, secondary, and tertiary organs where applicable. No defects of any kind, aside from the genetic markers of the genophage present in all Krogan. I cannot judge mental functioning. Well... He looks very scary, but so did Rex, and we love Rex. <laughs> um, I think we should open the tank. I think we should open the tank. Stand by. I'm gonna open the tank and let him out. Cerberus protocol is very clear regarding untested alien technology. He's too valuable to leave. Plus, I don't think he should stay in his tank forever. I mean, if he's like stable in there and she doesn't really know what he's feeling, he could be feeling everything. He's either a powerful addition to the crew or a time bomb. I'd rather deal with it now. Very well, Shepard. The controls are online. The switch and consequences are yours. Oh my god. <laughs> consequences. I'm scared. Oh no! Oh! Human, female, before you die, I need a name. Before you die? I'm Commander Shepard, and I don't take threats lightly. I suggest you relax. Not your name, mine. I'm trained. I know things. But the tank, Okir couldn't implant connection. His words are hollow. Warlord, legacy, Grunt. Grunt. Grunt was among the last. It has no meaning. It'll do. I am Grunt. If you are worthy of your command, prove your strength and try to destroy me. If you are worthy of your command? So all he wants to do is fight? You wouldn't prefer Okir or Legacy? It's short. Matches the training in my blood. The other words are big things I don't feel. Maybe they fit your mouth better. I feel nothing for Okir's clan or his enemies. 
I'll do what I'm bred to do. Fight and determine the strongest. But his imprint has failed. Without a reason that's mine, one fight is as good as any other. Might as well start with you. What? So Dr. Okir was trying to find the perfect soldier that does nothing but annihilate. Yeah, but he said he feels nothing for Okir. So he failed. Technically, it's a failed experiment. If Okir would have opened that tank, he would have been wildly disappointed. I have a good ship and a strong crew, a strong clan. You'd make it stronger. If you're weak and choose weak enemies, I'll have to kill you. Our enemies are worthy. No doubt about that. Mm. Hmm. That's acceptable. I'll fight for you. I'm glad you saw reason. Huh? <laughs> Offer one hand, but arm the other. Wise shepherd. If I find a clan, if I find what I, I want, I will be honored to eventually pit them against you. Did he just say that eventually he will have his own clan and then he will come after me? Is that what that was? <laughs> what did I just let out of the tank? Is he good or is he not? Are you evil? Shepard. What are your thoughts about our mission? I fight. Doesn't matter who for. What in the world? Did Okir give you any imprints about the Collectors? I see blurry ships, guesswork about strength. Nothing to help pick a weak spot and tear. Okir spent all his time on old hatreds. Whatever he had, it was used up when he made me. Old hatreds. So he was just imprinting hate into them. And the other Krogans failed because when they saw humans or they saw someone that wasn't a threat, they would stop fighting and they weren't the perfect soldier. They didn't, they, oh, my mind. Well, I'm glad this experiment failed too. Wow, what an ass Dr. O'Kear was. Anything in your tank imprints that can make use of the resources we found? Hmm. Might have something I could put together. Don't know how useful it will be. All right, what did he give us? We've had all those. Maybe a prototype? Ah, Krogan shotgun. So he uses shotgun. And we need some more platinum. Okay. Cool. So I should keep this crap around? Don't let it pile up. I live down here. <laughs> um, okay. What do you think about the crew? Good bunch if they stay out of my way. Dead bunch if they don't. Train them good if you want to take on collectors. Some of these aliens are too smooth. Too smooth? Just checking in. Making sure you're acclimatizing. Humans talk too much. Like the tank. Come back later. That's all for now. Shepard. What an interesting guy. I don't really know what to make of him right now. I'm a little bit on edge around him. I don't really know what to make it of him right now. The new armor reinforcements really threw off the gravimetric profiles. But engines are good to go. I rebalanced the Gilborn coefficients and adjusted the anterior intakes on the second tier stabilizers. I love it when you talk dirty. <coughs> the guy. <coughs> I got me. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that from him. It's actually really funny. <clears throat> Wait, my chai tea go down the wrong way? <clears throat> All right, so let's go talk to Jacob and see what he wants. Hopefully they don't make us flirt with him again. <laughs> we don't want to get into your pants, Jacob. We just want to know what you want. Come here with my iron belt on. Commander. Or what is sorry, it? Chastity? Sorry, I'm a little unfocused. Personal matter. It won't affect my duties. 
I'm a little unfocused. Personal matters. The yeoman said you wanted to see me. What's this about, Jacob? As I said, it's a personal matter. I don't want to waste our time if it turns out to be a goose chase. But... Well, I got pinged by a ghost the other night. Family. A ghost? I'm listening. My private log got an update about the Hugo Gerns back. The ship my father served on. It sent an SOS last week, reporting a crash and requesting a rescue. Shepard, that ship went missing ten years ago. I hadn't talked to my father for three years before that. I've buried everything but a body. Now, I'm not convinced it isn't just some automated distress signal ticking over. It's been too long. You don't want to find him? I think you'd be more excited that your father might be alive. He wasn't around enough for me to have bad memories. It's an old, well-healed wound. But if he's actually alive and needs help... I also want to note that it's not normal procedure for distress calls to be routed to the Normandy. This was passed to my personal log through Cerberus filters. Any signs that this is a Cerberus front? Who passed this to you? I doubt the elusive man would let a direct operation stake hold this long. If there's a link, it's probably just about money. Cerberus needs diverse holdings to fund projects like, well, you. And whoever sent this my way covered their tracks. Someone could be fishing for favors, or thought it would get under my skin. Who knows with that bunch. You didn't get along with your father? He made no apologies, I'll give him that. You make a mistake, you own up to it. Even if you keep making it. Whatever problems we had were a lifetime ago. I've had ten years to get to where I am. And as far as I know, he's still a ghost. Tell me about the Hugo Gernsback and what it was doing. Privately held frigate. I looked over the mission brief when it disappeared. Nothing stood out. Typical research and grab operation. Find an uncharted planet, stake a claim, and establish as large a presence as you can as fast as possible to shut out competitors. Okay. I wonder why they went missing. For ten years, where would they go? I feel like someone's playing a trick on him. I think we can spare the time. Pass the coordinates to Joker. I appreciate that, Commander. I don't expect more than dusty old bones, but it'll be good to close the record. Interesting. Okay, so we've got a lot of crew members side quests now, like pretty much all of them. So I think that, oops, wrong button. I keep wanting to press J for journal and when it doesn't work, I press M. I don't know why I think that will change. Um. But yeah, we have like, we have Jacobs, we have Zaid's, we have Kasumi. Uh, we also have Miranda's. And then we can also go see Liara. My heart, after everything with Ashley, is telling me to go speak to Liara on Ilium. But my heart is also telling me, oh, look, they're both on Ilium. Um, that I need to go help Miranda's sister move. So I think we're going to go talk to Liara first. And then since we'll be in the area, then we'll go do Miranda's sister line quest, The Prodigal, which is a very interesting title. And I don't know why I'm so weirded out by that title, but I just am. <laughs> Um, I'm also kind of interested to, to meet Miranda's twin. What does it look like to be a twin without biotics? Because Miranda mentioned that she was altered um, in every single way, even down to her looks. So like, even though they're twins, do they look alike? I don't know, I'm just genuinely curious. But let's go talk to Liara and Ilium about the Shadow Broker and see what happens with that. Because I really want to see Liara again. Elusive man. Oh, it's about... Shepard, I see you awaken no cures, Krogan. A dangerous decision, but you've got free reign on this operation. If you're certain he'll be a useful member of the team, you've got my support. We need every weapon we can get in this battle. If this grunt proves unreliable and has to be put down, don't lose the body. 
He's based at least partially on collector technology and could offer useful genetic data. But again, you are in charge. Okay. Doesn't really feel like I'm in charge, but... Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. I just read it, Kelly. Thanks. All right. So let's go... Try to find... I forget the name of it again. I want to say Ilium, but I think that's wrong. Oops, I eat Ilium. Okay, so it's in the Crescent Nebula. After everything with Ashley, I just need someone to see me and hopefully at least smile. And Liara might be that, or I might just end today in tears. I don't really know. Because if Liara turns us away too, I'm probably going to cry. <laughs> Because, like, Ashley and Emmy, one, we had a relationship kind of with. I felt like usually after our conversations, I left feeling a little bit strange about her anyways, just because she held her family and her love for the Alliance very high, which she continually, do continuously does in Emmy, too, as well. But with Liara, we had a very deep connection in Emmy, one, if you guys watched that one. So, um... I am excited to see her. I just hope that she feels the same way. Ilium is a classic garden world, developed to serve an entrepot between Terminus systems and the Asari republics. To abet this trade, the normally stringent custom laws of council space on product safety, prescribed materials, and sapient trafficking are relaxed. Officially, Ilium is not an Asari world. It is a colonized and operated by Asari corporate interests. This gives it the same legal latitude enjoyed by a non-corporate research enclaves of Novaria. Ilium is one of the youngest Asari colonies settled during the seventh expansion wave. The first child born on the world is not only reaching her middle age. Oh, is now, sorry. The first child born on this world is now reaching her middle age. The world is hot and massive. Ground to settlements is not only possible at the higher polar latitudes, in more equatorial locations, the population is housed in Arcology skyscrapers to escape the heat of the surface. Surface population is 84 million. L4 and L5 is 80,000. Let's go see what this is about. Uh, so we're going to go give Maria, uh, sorry, Liara some data. I kind of want to take Garrus with us because they know each other and... We're just giving her some data. It's not like a really big deal. And Miranda, because I think that honestly, I am probably always gonna bring Miranda with me because we are opening, I am opening up to her a bit more and she knows everything that's going on. She's she's the EXO, she's our main side. Like she's everything to this operation right now. So I will most likely always choose Miranda as my second or first. Most likely. I do you want to switch back to the other gun to this black storm? Wow, looks cool. on her butt. It's so big. Welcome to Nosastra, Commander Shepard. We've been instructed to waive all docking and administration fees for your visit. My name is Karina. If you need information about the area, it would be my pleasure to assist you. Why do I get a free pass? Who instructed you to waive the fees? The order came from Liara Tassoni, who paid all fees on your behalf. Aww. She also asked that I direct you to speak with her at your convenience. She's near the trading floor. Okay. You said Liara was here? What is she doing? Liara is one of Nosostra's most respected information brokers. Wow. Nosostra is based upon trade. Information is valuable currency, and Liara has done quite well. As I said, you'll find her near the trading floor. She was looking forward to seeing you. You mentioned trading. What gets traded on Ilium? Anything you can imagine, Commander. 
Ilium is a wonderful world for those who can afford it. In order to remain competitive as a Terminus Systems port, we've relaxed many of the standards you'd find on other Asari worlds. Most drugs are legal, provided they are labeled properly. You can buy almost any weapon or technology. You can even buy indentured servants. I can't believe an Asari world would allow slavery. We try to avoid calling it slavery. All indentured servants on Ilium have voluntarily agreed to a term of service. Most choose indentured service as a means to pay off debt or avoid imprisonment. A contract holder is responsible for the well-being of her servants, and a servant's duties are agreed upon before the contract is signed. Hmm. I mean, that makes it slightly better, but I just don't know about that. What can you tell me about Nosastra? It's an exciting city. We see a lot of new cultures and goods because of our proximity to the Terminus systems. At the same time, Ilium is still in a sorry world. You should be as safe here as you would be on the Citadel. For your own safety, however, I recommend against signing anything. I can't sign anything? What's so dangerous about signing something? Ilium is a free trade world commander. Contract term requirements are more relaxed here than on other planets. It's a small price to pay for keeping our competitive edge in goods from the Terminus systems. Okay. Do you have any recommendations about what to do on Nosastra? Our trading center is directly ahead. You'll find restaurants and shops nearby as well. I suggest you browse our shopping kiosks. You can find things on Nosastra that you can't find anywhere else in the galaxy. Okay. We already talked about Liara. What is this for? I'm on a mission. Can you help me find someone? I can help you find major entertainment centers or stores, but I'm afraid I can't point you to individual people. Liara is excellent at that type of work, however. I imagine she can help you. So is her sister also here? I'm wondering. Thank you. Again, welcome to our city, Commander. Please enjoy your stay. Customs records indicated just a car named Samara is visiting this port, Shepard. Your former teammate, Liara Tassoni, may have more information. Her office overlooks the trading floor. You may wish to speak with her regarding the whereabouts of Thane Krios, the assassin on your dossier, as well. Wow. Also, I have a message for Miss Lawson. Lantea has reserved a room at Eternity and will be waiting. Thank you, Edie. So, it was good coming here because they all kind of like coincide with one another in here. Cool. Freedom's a regional hub of Asari commerce awash in riches. Ilium is infamous for its abusive labor practices and legalization of nearly everything except murder. Jeez. As such, Ilium is the preferred production site for weapons and pharmaceuticals that would be illegal nearly everywhere else, made even more lucrative by legal indentured servitude. Among the biotics-related pharmaceutical producers is the Dantius Corporation, a rising star in galactic commerce. Despite the dangers of its products, Ilium is renowned for glamour, luxury, and safety provided by near total surveillance, making it a favored tourist destination. Countless celebrities maintain palatial estates on Ilium and in its capital, Nos Astra. The sole obstacle to business on Ilium is its extensive bureaucracy, tolerated only for its provision of security. Regardless of the character of its economy, Ilium's self-congratulatory media exalts its own society with the provincial arrogance of new money glorifying in sexiest CEOs and 10 richest residents lists. <laughs> Sounds like California. Okay, interesting. So we also have an update on the assassin. Quick kill biotic specialist, expert sniper. Thane Krios is a drill trained from childhood as an elite assassin. Proficient in both long-range sniping skills and close infiltration. He has slowed his activities in recent years, but is rumored to have a target on Ilium. A target. All right, and here's the one for Liam, Lia, Liara. Former teammate Liara is working on Ilium as an information broker. Never saw that coming. I don't know. I just, I never pictured Liara as a... As an information broker, it's just kind of strange. I figured she would be in a lab somewhere or something. She may have helpful information and has asked to be contacted. And then I guess we also have the prodigal, which 
need to go to Ilium and get her sister off world safely. Okay. So she does live here, and then we just need to go speak with someone. Speak to Lantai. Okay, in the Eternity Lounge. All right. So Liara doesn't know where she is, but Lantai does. All right, well, let's see this area. It's ginormous. Uh, so there's the trading floor that we're about to go into. Eternity Bar, which I think is where we're going to meet that one lady. Um, and then Liara's office. There is a little bit of, like, shopping around here, too, so we can take a look at some of the stuff that they have here, but... The city is actually pretty cool. Kind of sounds like they have a NASCAR jock somewhere down below. Indenture tech. I hate this. We were always told that Ilium is one of the safest places in the galaxy until you fell off the grid. Sign the wrong contract, join up with the wrong company, or walk down the wrong alley, and it's as dangerous as anywhere else. Don't let this place fool you. It's no safer here than Omega. Omega wasn't even that safe. You have to give the Asari credit. Ilium is a cultural marvel. Humanity can learn a lot from their ingenuity. I just don't know how I feel about the whole, like, slave thing that's going on here. Just... I can't really get behind that. I mean, I guess instead of, like, going to prison or serving your life in, in prison and working with someone that lives in a really rich penthouse and, like, doing their chores is better, but... I don't know. Pardon me. No, you don't understand. I lost it somewhere near the transport terminal. It can't be replaced. It's a token from my bondmate. It's the only thing my child has to remember her father by. Please, if you find it... No, I, I, I understand. Pardon me, I'm on a call. Sorry. I thought you were going to ask me to find something for you. Sounds like the old council. 25. Sell at 25. No, no, no. You're not hearing me. I want to buy it up. Buy it all up. Come on, come on. Oh, God. <laughs> Excuse me. Stocks Excuse command. me, are you Commander Shepard? Yes. You're Commander Shepard? I saw your... I guess you would say your aura. I'd recognize you anywhere. I was asked to give you a message if I saw you. It's from a friend you made on Novaria. Who? I met a lot of people on Novaria. Could you be more specific? I believe the message itself should make it clear. Shepard, we hide. We borrow. We build. But we know that you seek those who soured the songs of our mothers. When the time comes, our voice will join with yours. And our crescendo will burn the darkness clean. Thank you, Shepard. The Rachni will sing again because of you. Are you on Ilium? I'm glad to hear that you're rebuilding. Are you somewhere close by? The Rachni Queen is not here. That message is one of many memories I carry from her. I encountered her on an uncharted world. She saved my life. More than that, she gave me a purpose. They are an amazing people, Shepard. The galaxy owes you a great debt for giving them a second chance. Interesting. I've been talking about the Rachni ever since the hive mind of the collectors, but it's kind of good and refreshing to hear about the Rachni and that they're still good and they're doing good. Interesting. How did you find the Rachni? I was working as a courier. Pirates ambushed my ship, and I was forced down on an uncharted planet. I was badly injured, alone and near death. Then they found me. They saved me. How did you get back? You obviously got off-world again. Did the Rachni give you a ship? No. 
Countless workers repaired my ship. It runs better now than it did before. They remind me of the keepers on the Citadel in a way. All working together, each with a purpose. And the pirates? What happened to the pirates who attacked you? They were obliterated. As they should have been. The Rachni are not aggressive, but they do what they must. Hmm. You said the Queen gave you a purpose. What do you mean? The Queen shared her song with me as I recovered. I saw the Rachni as only an Asari could. They are so beautiful and so vulnerable. They needed someone to purchase things they cannot make themselves. Someone to work within the system. An agent, if you will. I am happy to help. My life as a courier was empty and shallow. Now I'm helping a great race rebuild itself. Yeah, it does sound too easy. You were really comfortable walking away from your old life? You're concerned that the queen is controlling me. Yeah. I understand, but it doesn't work like that. Our minds were in perfect harmony. I saw their beautiful spirit and their need. I knew what I had to do. If some part of that is suggestion, then it was a side effect from their efforts to save my life. I am happy. Okay. I got that she was grateful. What else was her message saying? That the first Rachni war was a mistake. Something soured the voices of her people. In Rachni psychology, that would be like mind control, I think. It doesn't really translate. Anyway, she believes you are fighting the ones who did that, mm. and she promises to help. So the Reapers. She thinks that the Reapers caused the Rachni War? I can't say for sure, but she was certain that her ancestors were forced into war against their will. Her people aren't naturally aggressive. If they made war, it was not of their own doing. I keep forgetting that they're not naturally aggressive. I think it's because of how they look how they look and I know that's really terrible to say but they look like monsters and when we originally first saw them they were attacking us but it was because of the the reapers and the way that they were trained um when they were grown up can you tell me where the Rachni are I'm afraid not I don't even have that information myself any longer after I met the Rachni queen that information was removed it's not painful, but I simply don't remember. I'll remember when I need to. And her caution is understandable. The galaxy isn't yet ready for the return of the Rachni. Yeah, it's definitely true. They're definitely not. They're not. They would be attacked right away because of everything that just happened. Okay. Thank you for giving me that information. I'm glad my friend on Novaria is doing well. Be well, Commander Shepard. You will not see me again. Interesting. I was not expecting to run into... Jeez, Houdini. I was not expecting that at all. Shepard? The news said you were dead. Gianna. No, wait, probably classified. <laughs> Forget I asked. You just have to lie. It's been a couple of years. I'm Gianna Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. You helped me nail Administrator Analeas. I remember. Happy to help. What happened to Administrator Analeas? He made the one mistake Novaria won't tolerate. He got caught taking their money. He's doing a few years in white collar prison. More importantly, he won't work in the field again. Sit down. If I remember right, I owe you a beer. She's much nicer here. What brings you to Ilium? You know, that you can talk about. Mm, I don't wanna say collectors right off the bat because I don't fully trust her. I'm working on a top secret project. Mostly putting together a team and doing research right now. Sounds vague. No offense taken. I've been undercover enough to know how it goes. Hey, listen, I just remembered something. I've got to go. Talk to you later. And don't forget to drink your beer. Shepard had to leave. Target saw me. Couldn't break cover? A sorry merchant smuggling schematics from Novaria. Can you talk her into showing you the good stuff? What? A sorry merchant smuggling schematics. What the heck? 
Convince the tech merchant to show smuggler merchandise. <laughs> Who was the tech merchant? This person? Welcome. You look like someone who needs high quality equipment. Feel free to look around. My store has the best tech and biotic equipment on Ilium. I'm a big spender. <laughs> Is everything here so expensive? I'd planned to drop a lot of credits today. Really? I'm outfitting a team for a dangerous mission. I need the best, and I'm willing to pay for it. As long as you work with me. Well, perhaps I could give you a preferred rate at the kiosk. Here, a small discount. And when I get special items in, you can take a look. Um, special items. What kind of special items are we talking about? Oh, you know, schematics, designs. Nothing illegal, but I may not have all the licenses to sell them. So, it is legal. <laughs> Do you have anything else? Anything not listed on your main merchandise kiosk? Well, there is one thing. Very advanced design. Not publicly available yet. That's because it's still in development on Avaria and illegal for export. Hello, Hermia. Parasini, you set me up. But this isn't Novaria. You don't have the authority to arrest me. I don't care whether you go to jail. I've got all the evidence I need to find you out of business. Do you have the authority to seize the schematic she's trying to sell? I don't have to. Hermia was under suspicion. We leaked a faulty device to her. All this thing will ever do is blow up in your face. I, I need to go. I have to talk to my lawyer. They just set her up completely. Damn. Talk fast, Hermia. When the fines hit, you won't be able to afford him. Ah, oh, that was good. I've got to go file a few papers. Come by my table when you've got a minute. <laughs> Always getting us into some shenanigans. Holy. I want to look at what's in here real quick. Ooh, biotic damage. Omni tool upgrade, bio amp upgrade, metagel capacity. I think I'm definitely gonna get metagel capacity. What's oh, this? Increases shields by 8%, increases heavy weapon ammo capacity by 5%. Um, I think what I have now is like some sort of health, sh health something or others. Weapon damage 3%, shields 3%. Melee, 10%. I don't really use melee that often, especially as an infiltrator. Just, I don't. <laughs> Plus, I also just don't like it because it gives me anxiety. <laughs> just like rushing in and like meleeing. I don't know. It increases my heart rate. Um, This is another like melee shields. These are all pretty melee. -y. I think I'm going to pass on, on most of that stuff. Yeah, we can find something better. But I am going to buy this uh, Omni tool upgrade. This should come in handy. Why is that always so loud? And the biotic amp upgrade, too. Okay. Hermia is going to be a very poor woman very shortly. Thanks for the help, Shepard. I love nailing Asari. So ageless and superior. Then you get them and they squeal like schoolgirls. You really love doing this. It must be nice having a job that you really enjoy. I wanted to be a cop or C-Sec, but my family had bills. I needed the money a corporate job brought in. Besides, in this job, you don't see things that make it hard to sleep at night. White collar crime is nice and clean. Hell, at least this time I didn't have to wear heels and a dress. <laughs> True. How'd you end up on Novaria anyway? scholarship program and a competitive internship. Turned out I was only middling at the science, but I could always ferret out secrets. You grow up poor and surrounded by rich kids, you get good at hiding yourself. Helps with going undercover. What's up next for you? Research. We've had some hacking attacks lately, and I want to make sure they're external. A lot of people are suddenly interested in dark energy. My bosses want to know if it's something to worry about. That'll hold me over until I have to go back undercover anyway. Interesting. Dark energy. Must be hard going undercover so often. It's not so bad. Go new places, be new people. The only weird part is when you go home and try to talk to people and you forget how to react. Like it's another cover, you know? Yeah, that's probably super strange. Deep down, part of you likes fooling people. That's what makes you good at it. Part of me, yeah. 
I grew up poor and working class. Now I walk around the rich and powerful, taking notes, getting evidence. And they never see me coming. It's been a pleasure, Gianna. You too, Shepard. See you around. She's so much nicer than when we first saw her. <laughs> Remember when she was a secretary and she was in like the dress and the heels and she was just super rude. <laughs> she was even like rude to us. She was never nice. That's why I was like taken back that she was being so kind. I need minimal heat increase and speed. I have extremely high performance requirements. Certainly, sir. Safe too. I need a 100% safety guarantee of anything going on to my suit. 100% <laughs> safety guarantee? <laughs> what does he think this is? Alright, I think Liara's office might be over this way. Do you have anything flashier? I want something that says... Shipping? I own this room. I own you. Oh, that was fancy. Looks like it's upstairs, so I'm just gonna go upstairs to administration. Hello, Commander Shepard. Liara will be pleased to see you. You're Liara's assistant? Yes. Liara relies upon me to acquire useful intelligence. I don't have her network of contacts, but I supply her with supplemental data. It's really an honor to work with her. What's Liara's reputation here on Ilium? She is greatly respected. In a few short years, she's amassed a sizable network of connections. She could have even more political power than she already wields if she weren't so focused on her personal goals. But I believe she should tell you about that, not me. Yeah, I was just about to say, what are her personal goals? It's so strange because her mother was very like political and like always in connection with other people. And that's what ultimately brought her to her demise. But I never thought that Liara would be in the same ish footsteps. I just think it's very strange that she be she became a broker. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. I don't know. I feel like I'm just like weirded out. Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. It's Leora. I'll make it simple. Either you pay me, or I flay you alive. With my mind. Oh, dang. Shepard, Nixeris, hold my calls. Do I get a hug? Ooh, an embrace. Oh. Oh! <gasps> wow! Hot tamales. That was intense. My sources said you were alive, but I never believed. It's very good to see you. Sources. You have sources now? A few. Sources, contacts, even a little hired muscle. I've been working as an information broker. It's paid the bills since you, well, for the past two years. And now you're back. Gunning for the collectors with Cerberus. Come with me. If you know that, then you know that I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. I'm sorry. I have commitments here. Things I need to take care of. What things? What kind of things do you need to take care of? Are you in trouble? No, no trouble. But it's been a long two years. I had things to do while you were gone. I have debts to repay. Listen. If you want to help, I need someone with hacking expertise. Someone I can trust. If you could disable security at key points around Ilium, you could get me information I need. That would help me a great deal. What's going on? What's this all about, Liara? Can't you just talk to me? Don't you think I want to, Shepard? This isn't because I don't trust you. This is Ilium. Anything I say is probably being recorded. Yes, that's true. Hacking a terminal sounds pretty easy. Why do you need me? I don't know anyone else I can trust. Hacking the security node won't get you the data. It just creates a minor glitch in the system. You'll have a short time to find a local server left vulnerable by that glitch and upload the data to my system. I'm leaving my own system vulnerable so that the data can be imported during that short time. Can you decide whether to sit down or get up? Because I have ADHD and I can't, like, 
<laughs> it's distracting me. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data from there, if you hurry. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilium. Do you know where I could find her? Samara? Yes. She arrived recently and registered with Tracking Officer Dara. You can find Dara at the Transportation Hub. She's being tracked? Why would Samara have to register with a Tracking Officer? Is she a criminal? No. In fact, she's quite the opposite. Samara is a Justicar, one of an ancient sect of Asari warriors. Dara can tell you more. Interesting. I'm looking for Thane Krios. He's supposed to be here on Ilium. The assassin? Yes. He arrived here a few days ago. My sources tell me he may be targeting a corporate executive, Nisana Dantius. He contacted a woman named Serena. Serena has an office in the cargo transfer levels. Perhaps she can tell you where Krios is. And you just knew that? She has information on everyone here. It's crazy. That was all just off the top of your head? I'm a very good information broker, Shepard. Yeah. The world of intrigue isn't that different from a dig site. Except that the dead bodies still smell. My god. Thanks for the help. That's all I needed to know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. How's your own work going? Everyone needs information, Shepard. You want to know why I don't drop everything to join you? I need to get that data. It should be about friendship. Or trust. But that's not the way it works on Ilium. Let me know when you hack those terminals. Give me that, and I can talk to you. Okay. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data from there, if you hurry. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. A great debt? I'll talk to you later, Liara. Interesting. Why would getting the shadow broker's dirty data help her pay her debts? What are her debts? She's been doing some stuff over here. Look at this big Liara's office. It's crazy. That was also like an interesting like reaction. I thought we were going to get like a hug or something, but instead we just like made out and like nuzzled each other's necks. It was very intense interesting all right so let me take a look at our data or our journal so yeah we gotta go spock uh speak to lantai in the eternity lounge that's the next one for that what is our sister's name i feel like i keep forgetting it i can't remember her sister's name The one for the assassin opened up too. Um, so the assassin's also here. Talk to Serena in the lower cargo transfer level downstairs. So that's the one that has information about the expert sniper. And then the Justice R also opened up for us too, Samara. Uh, Samara is a Justice R, a rare member of the Asari monastic group trained in enhanced combat biotics alongside standard weapons. Samara was recently sighted on Ilium outside normal Asari space. So they're both over here. This is crazy that everyone's like here in the same area. <laughs> it's kind of weird. And then we need to go hack some security nodes for Liara. Very interesting stuff we've got to do here on this sketchy but rich area it's very it's very interesting here all right everyone that's it for today thank you so much for joining me on another adventure in this crazy crazy series it's just starting to pick up and snowball and there's all of these different like parts and pieces that are coming together now that i'm trying to like grasp onto and i know that they have to fit together in some form just because i'm rem remembering back to our time in mass effect one and how the rachni was there and the reapers and the geth and the cerberus group and like even side quests in that game ended up playing such a huge part in mass effect 2 and now we're getting like the rachni again and we've gotten the collectors and the collector's main dude definitely knows us so they're definitely working with the reapers they're making these 
crazy, scarier, creepier, zombier reapers now. And I just honestly don't know who to trust anymore. We found out when we talked to the elusive man again after everything with Ashley and the colony and all that stuff and the collectors that he actually did send out a blip saying we're alive and we're working for Cerberus just to see what would happen. But that's what he told us. And now I'm kind of like creeped out that we're not being kept in on any information on what's actually happening. We're kind of just the work dog that's being told to go here, do that, do this. But the elusive man is the one pulling all of the strings and it creeps me out. It really creeps me out. And I'm not sure if I wanna say for certainty that I think that Cerberus is behind all of this, but I think it's a little weird. And in the beginning, I told you guys that I was creeped out that the elusive man had those eyes because I just remember thinking back to Saren and how he was being controlled and he had those eyes and Garrus does not have those eyes. Garrus has normal eyes and I have not seen anybody else with those type of like graphic eyes that look like they just have like computer chips in them except for the people that are being mind controlled. I don't know. I just found it very, very strange. But then again, Liara's mom didn't have those eyes. I think I got to sleep on a lot of this information from today. Slash, just kind of keep doing what we're doing. Keep going with the storyline. Stop trying to put an answer to everything because we are very much in the thick of things right now. And I am loving every moment, but I want more answers. I want more. I want to know what the heck is going on here and who to trust because... Before I knew in Mass Effect 1, like Rex and Tally were my mains and anywhere that I went, I 100% trusted them. I feel that way about Dr. Uh, like, you know, the professor, I do feel that way about him. Miranda, I'm a little bit on the edge about still. Um, Garrus, I know that we can trust 100%, but other than that, I don't really know anybody else. I don't really know them. I don't really trust them. Jacob has his own weird, thing going on with his family and all that stuff. I don't really know if someone's trying to like get through him to me by doing that or what. It's definitely getting super juicy and interesting and amazing and I can't wait for the next episode. Thank you so much for joining me today on this awesome adventure. I feel like every episode has been super amazing and i just can't wait to get to dive deeper into the storyline so i'm sure you guys have probably noticed but i'm trying to put out videos every monday wednesday and friday so three times a week for mass effect 2 so look out for the videos on those days remember to subscribe and like and comment and all that good stuff thank you for all the love to these videos i love reading through your comments and replying to some of you guys so it's been awesome getting to know this community a little bit more and I look forward to next time. Bye everyone.